Good morning, boys and girls. We're going to read a book called Ready, Set, Hop today. This book is by Stuart J. Murphy and it's illustrated by John Buller. In this story, we're going to see a lot of math. There's a lot of math stories in here. We'll see addition and we'll also see subtraction. The strategy that I'm going to use for this is going to be using a number line. Ready, set, hop. You can see that the strategy that they used most was using a picture. Okay, you can see that they're adding three frogs and two frogs. They're going to join them together into one big group and make five frogs. So you can see that most of it is pictures, but this one is not. This one shows hopping. Now hopping is just like on the number line. You don't count the first one until you land. So here's one, two, three, plus one. So this is showing us three hops plus one hop. So we would start with the three and add one more hop. We'd land on the four. Altogether, there's four hops here. When we use addition on the number line, we're going to go to the right because the number is going to be getting larger. When we do subtraction, that's when we have one big group and we're taking some of it away or we're separating one big group into two groups. When we do that, the number will get fewer. It'll be less. We'll go to the left on the number line. Ready, set, hop. Maddie and Mo are two hop happy frogs. They like to play on rocks and make rafts from tiny logs. One day, Maddie bragged to Mo, I'm a very tall frog. I bet I can hop longer hops than you. But Maddie croaked Mo, I'm a very big frog, and I hop long hops too. Let's find out, said Maddie. I bet I can get to the big rock in fewer hops than you because my hops are longer. Remember, fewer means less, okay? But my hops are bigger, said Mo. I'll go first and show you. He stretched his large legs and he started hopping. It took him five hops to get to the big rock. Remember, we don't count until we land. One, two, three, four, five. So, it took Mo five hops. I'm going to write Mo's name down here. And how many hops it took him? Five hops. Okay. Mo croaked. Now see if you can beat that. Ready, set, hop. It took Maddie two hops more than it took Mo. Two hops more, okay? So with Maddie, he had to hop all five of the ones that Mo did plus two more. So all five of those plus two more. When we add, we're going to go to the right on the number line. We're going to make two jumps on the number line. One, two, so five plus two is the same or equal to seven. Let's find out if that's what they came up with as well. How many hops did it take Maddie to get to the rock? It took Mo five hops. Remember, we count when we land. One, two, three, four, five. It took Maddie two hops more than it took Mo. One, two, three, four, five. So that's how many it took Mo, plus the two more. Six, seven. Five plus two equals how many? Seven. I can't believe it, said Maddie. You took fewer hops, so you're further ahead so far. But now let's hop to the hollow log. Mo wasn't worried. He knew he could take longer hops 
it took him seven hops to get to the log. So it took Mo seven hops. Okay, Maddie, it's your turn. Ready, set, hop. Maddie hopped three hops fewer than Mo to get to the log. Three hops fewer. Oh, that's less. That's a subtraction number. Okay, so it took Mo seven hops. It took Maddie three hops less, so that's seven minus three. So we're gonna start at the seven. And this time, because it's subtraction, and we're going to be getting a number that is fewer, a number that is less. We're going to go to the left on the number line and we're gonna do it by three hops. One, two, three. What number did we land on? Four. Seven minus three equals, or is the same as, four. How many hops did it take Maddie to get from the rock to the log? It took Mo seven hops, and it took Maddie three hops less. So here's Mo seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, minus three. One, two, three leaves us right here, and you can see it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Seven minus three is the same as or equal to four. Maddie said, we were each ahead by one. We'd better try once more. Okay, said Mo, watch how few hops I take to get to the pond. After you, Mo, said Maddie. With seven long hops, Mo reached the pond. Okay, so how many did it take him? Seven. So Mo had seven hops to get to the pond. So we're gonna start at seven, whatever we do. Come on, Maddie, yelled Mo. Ready, set, hop. Maddie hopped and hopped. He hopped two hops more than Mo, but he should have stopped and hopped one less because he ended up in the water. So he hopped two more than Mo. Two more. So all of se all seven of Mo's hops plus two more. Right? Seven plus two equals nine. It's the same as nine. But he shouldn't have gone two more, they said, because it put him in through the pond, and he was supposed to stop right before the pond. He should have hopped one less. So now we know he took nine. Okay, we know that he was at nine hops. They said he should have hopped one less. That's minus one, one less. So we'll start at nine and subtract one. When we subtract, we go to the left on the number line. Where did we land? At the eight. One less than nine is eight because it's the number before. The same way that one more is always the next number, one less is always the number before. It would have taken him eight hops to get to the pond. Okay, so here they have, how many hops did Maddie take to get from the log to the pond? And how many should he have taken? Well, it took Mo seven hops, and it took Maddie two more hops than it took Mo. So that was the seven plus two. We know that was nine. Seven, eight, nine. We could do it by counting on as well. Then they have minus one equals how many? Because he wasn't supposed to take that extra hop and get into the water. And we know one less than nine is the number before nine. One less is always the number before. One less than nine is eight. Nine minus one equals eight. Mo croaked. The contest is over. Let's add up all our hops and see who won. Mo counted. I hopped five logs to get to the rock, then seven more to the log, and seven more to the pond. That gives me 19 hops. Let's check his work. He said five hops to get to the rock, and then seven more to the pond, 
wait, seven more to the log, and then seven more to the pond. So he said five, one, two, three, four, five, plus the seven would have been six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, plus seven more would have been 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Maddie said, I hopped seven and four and nine. Okay, that makes 20 hops in all. It looks like you finished with one hop less than me because 19 is one less than 20 because 19 comes before 20 on the number line. So Mo is the better hopper. I won, but all that hopping made me hop, croaked Mo. Watch out, I'm hopping in. Maddie said, if you take one more hop, 19 plus one equals 20 plus Plus one is always the next number. One more is always the next number. Then both of us will win. Okay, so when you are adding or subtracting, you can use a number line to help you. Now, of course, you might not have a dry erase marker and a dry erase board at home, and that is fine. You can make a number line out of paper and you can use your finger. So if your problem was three plus two and you wanted to find out how much that was, you could start at the three and using your finger, you can do your hops. Two more hops, right? One, two. What number did we land on? Five. Three plus two equals five. And then maybe you have a problem that says seven plus three, and you have to figure that one out. You can go to seven and add three more. One, two, three. Seven plus three equals 10. When we are adding, we use the word plus. The symbol looks like this, and we go to the right on the number line. Maybe you have problems that are subtraction, like seven minus three, or eight minus four. And we can use the number line without actually drawing the hops. You can use your finger. We would start at seven for seven minus three. When we subtract, we use the word minus. The symbol looks like this. And we go to the left on the number line. So let's start at seven, and we're gonna take three hops to the left. One, two, three. What number did we land on? Four. So seven minus three equals four. We could do this problem too, and because we haven't been writing up here, we can just use the same number line again and again and use your fingers. Here we go with eight. We're gonna start with eight and subtract four. So we're gonna start with eight and subtract four. So we'll go four hops to the left. One, two, three, four. What number did we land on? Four. Thank you so much for working with me today and helping me read this book that had some addition and some subtraction problems. Thank you for helping me use my number line. We know that adding is when we join two groups together. We use the word plus. The symbol almost looks like a little t. And to use the number line uh, strategy, we would just hop to the right. And you don't count the hop until you land. We know subtracting is when we have a big group and we're taking some of it away from that group, separating it into two new smaller groups. The number will be less. So we go to the left on the, on the number line when we make our hops. We use the word minus and the symbol looks like this. Thank you so much for joining me today.